If you're worried about protecting yourself and those you love and a hits the fan, forced evacuation, then I have five top contenders for you for the best bug out guns. Check this out. Hey, what's up, Warriors? It is Jeff from WarriorLife.com. And look, nothing gets everybody's tidy whities in a wad more than talking about the best guns for anything. Unfortunately, when it comes to survival scenarios, especially in a forced evacuation bug out scenario where you could be forced out of your home in a crisis and resources are low and you have other people around you, it could be a very dangerous situation. And unfortunately, most people are taking kind of the more tactical route than the tactical route. And there are really three considerations that I like to use when it comes to choosing the best evacuation or bug out gun for you. And it first comes down to the first C, which is caliber. So does the firearm use a caliber that might be readily available for you in an environment where there might not be any gun stores open or other ammunition sources? The next one is going to be comfort. Does the firearm that you choose use rounds that you're going to be able to carry enough of them if it is a situation where you are going to have to subsist for maybe an extended period of time? How much ammunition can you actually carry with you if you're forced out of your home, forced out of your vehicle, and the last, the last resort that you have is you and your bug out bag? And the final one is concealability. So you are not going to be wanting to be walking down Main Street all camoed up with your tactical backpack on and an AR-15 slung across your chest when everybody around you knows that what you got in that backpack is probably something they're, they're going to want to have too. You just might as well put a big old red bullseye on your forehead. So you need to make sure that you're using a firearm that you can conceal in some way either on your person or inside of your bug out bag that you can get to very quickly. Now using those three C's as your considerations, let me give you my top five guns that you could use for a bug out gun. Right, we're gonna do this in true countdown fashion here. My fifth choice for the best bug out gun is going to be the tried and true Ruger 1022 takedown. So the Ruger 1022 has been around forever. It is a solid piece of machinery. And the Ruger 1022 takedown just comes apart into two pieces very easily. And it is easy to conceal inside of a bug out bag. And 22 ammunition, you can carry a lot more 22 with you. And it's gonna be more readily available because a lot of people are stockpiling 22. And so you might be able to barter, you might be able to find it more readily available out there. Um, it's also a lot less weight than other rounds are. So if you look at just a 10 pound scale next to each other, it is going to, if you have nine millimeter and 223 or 556 five, ammo, 10 pounds of those rounds are going to be about three, it's gonna give you about 370, 380 rounds. Whereas 10 pounds of 22 ammunition is about 1300 rounds. Now you don't need to carry 10 pounds with you, but you can see you can get a lot more bang for your buck when it comes to the 22 ammunition. The other thing about the Ruger 1022 is that there are some aftermarket modifications you can do. Some people like Magpul have done some really good stuff with making it even more concealable and be able to make it more efficient for survival purposes. All right, all you old fogies like me out there, who used to like watching Westerns on television, are gonna love number four in our countdown because if you watch Steve McQueen's Wanted Dead or Alive, his weapon of choice was the mare's leg lever action. In fact, this is actually a pistol. It looks like a miniature rifle, right? But this is actually a lever action pistol and it's chambered in 22. Now, what I like about the mare's leg is that it is concealable inside of a bug out bag. So it's got the compact nature to it, um, but, in 22, it will shoot a both. It will shoot a 22 short, 22 long, and a 22 long rifle. So when it comes to availability of your 22 ammunition out there, if all you have is something that shoots 22 long rifle and you come across some shorts, they're not going to do you much good. With the Mare's Leg by Henry Arms, it is going to be a weapon that you're going to be able to shoot any of that ammunition through the same gun. Now, the other thing I like is that in a survival scenario, especially if you are outside of any sort of protection out there. You could be in environments that have a lot of debris around. It could be very wet environments. It could be very environmentally challenging for something like a semi-automatic rifle. Well, being a lever action, there are less working pieces to it that are automatic, it's manual. So a manually uh, operated firearm like this is gonna be more reliable in extreme environments. Our right, number three in our countdown is really one of my favorites, and Henry Arms stepped up again with this. And by the way, I, they're not one of my advertisers. These are things that I actually do carry, and that is the Henry Arms AR-7 survival rifle. Now, what I like about this is that it is a plastic stock, so it brings the weight down considerably, super concealable inside of a bug-out bag, 
It does uh, fire 22, so if 22 long rifles. So again, for availability and weight of the rounds, it's gonna help, again, keep the weight down quite a bit, especially useful if you're maybe more out of shape, maybe older, and you don't wanna carry as much weight. Now, the thing is about this weapon is that the rest of the rifle is all located right inside of the stock of the weapon. So the barrel is in here, the receiver is in here, and there's even room for a couple of loaded magazines in here as well. And when put together, the thing actually floats even when it's loaded up. So it makes a great gun for like a canoe hunting gun, but also just for putting inside of your bug out bag this is really going to be a solid survival rifle for you. Number two in the countdown is a little controversial, but it's one of my favorites for a very specific reason that I'll tell you about here in a minute. And that is the AR-15 pistol. Now there are a lot of different configurations when it comes to the AR-15 pistol. This one has an additional uh, buffer tube on it, but it is still concealable inside of my bug out bag. Now, what I like about the AR-15 pistol is that it does give me really good maximum firepower. It gives me um, magazines that can hold lots of ammunition. So I have availability of ammunition for the weapon itself, especially if it's an environment where maybe 22 ammunition isn't available anywhere, the gun stores are closed down, there's no ammunition source. I know that police and military do carry weapons that are, are chambered in 5.56 rounds. So, that means that at least that production is going to be continuing and maybe I can find that ammunition out there somewhere available that I can, I can beg or borrow some, right? Um, but the other thing that I like about the AR-15 pistol is that with just one small configuration, it gives me more availability of ammunition because you can get an adapter, which is a 22 adapter bolt that goes inside of the rifle. In fact, all you have to do is just pull out the 223.556 bolt that's inside of it, slip in the bolt for the 22 caliber, and then you have a special magazine that fits right into the AR-15 that chambers or, or holds the 22 ammunition, 22 long rifle. So that just goes in, and now I have both, because I have both bolts, I now have a 223.556 22 long rifle weapon that gives me more choices of caliber as I'm going around. It also gives me the choice if I want to go hunting, I have the availability of a larger round that might stop a, or, or put down an animal that's much larger, or it gives me the 22 capability also for a smaller game that isn't going to give me as loud of a register, maybe draw more attention to me as well. All right, we finally come to number one in the countdown. And guys, it is not the most tactical weapon out there but it is my number one choice when it comes to the best bug out gun. And that is a 22 long rifle revolver. Now this is my Ruger LCR 22 long rifle. And what I like about this is one, it gives me instant access to it by carrying it concealed like I would another handgun. I can carry it in a pouch on my bug out bag. I can carry it in another holster of some kind that I might have availability to, but it's gonna give me access in a situation much faster than if I try to pull a rifle out of my bug out bag. So it gives me the concealability, it gives me comfort because it uses 22 long rifle. Again, I can carry a lot of ammunition with it. So it doesn't give me a lot of range, but I'm not looking to really kind of shoot from long range anyway. I'm looking to kind of stay hidden, stay out of the way from everybody. But if somebody does give me a hard time, I need something for self-protection. I need to get to it fast. Now the other thing about carrying a a revolver versus a semi-automatic is again in, in more extreme rugged environments where there could be debris around, other things that might make uh, the function of a semi-automatic pistol or the magazines that go in the pistol um, tougher. The revolver has the advantage of that because all you do is just pull the trigger and you move the cylinder, it's all mechanical. So it's gonna be much more rugged in these type of survival scenarios. All right, so that wraps up my top five best bug out guns, but now I wanna hear from you. What are some other questions or tips that you have when it comes to survival firearms? You can go ahead and leave your question or your tip down below this video in the comments section, or you can head on over to warriorlifetips.com and submit your question or tip there. If we end up using that in one of our future episodes, either a podcast or our videos, then we will send you a thank you gift in the mail as a reward. And if you want more videos like this, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you get a notification when we put our next video out. And until then, this is Jeff Anderson from warriorlife.com saying prepare, train, and survive. <laughs>